you want something that will be more stable so that when you are recording the whole thing won't go off all right so just leave it at default it's better it's there okay so here they said avoid unexpected stop don't put your phone if you're in the social media space you like creating videos you like doing more of uh, tutorials gaming you know showing people your end screen showing people the work going on at the back end showing people one or two things you want to grow your channel faster i put it to you that you need to make use of one of the best methods you can ever make use of even on your pc you can make a screen record and on your phone you can make a screen record all right but the point is the point is are you ready to make a screen record are you ready to show the world to show your audience how you make your screen record uh the content you have you want to push out there and all of those things all right so i want to show you in this very short video how you can make a screen record not just that the app you can use which i also use and also um how to make the settings work for you okay so without wasting much of our time let's proceed now you have a screen recording on your phone okay I'm using this phone screen recording app right now to show you what I want to show you okay so if you don't have this app AZ screen recorder please proceed to Play Store or your Apple Store wherever store you want to go just proceed there and download it from there okay so this is the app I want to show you this is one of the best apps when it comes to screen recording it is one of the best okay so just click on it let me show you around quickly so when you click on it it asks allow pop-up notification so just click on allow here okay click on allow when you click on allow it goes it brings you to another interface where you can locate the app look at it here when you locate it you click allow display over other apps so when you do that go back go back again then it brings you to this interface so it looks like this just click ok for now click ok here okay good so when you click ok click on allow click on allow good can you see the app here is right here okay you can place it anywhere you want to place it so when you come to this interface you have for pictures uh, screenshot images settings you can even edit video using this okay can you see you can edit image you can do wi-fi transfer compress image more apps video downloader and all of that so the app is a multi-dimensional app so click on the setting icon here there are settings you need to do here before you start recording or screen recording whatever you want to put out there okay so the first we have here is resolution video configuration or video resolution so resolution is what makes your video to either be more sharper brighter and clear when people watch or it makes it dull depending on the kind of resolution you use so if you use 240 it will be it will be very blur all right if you use 360 it will be blurred 480 may still be blur 540 and all of that so we can just set this at 1080 okay and you can use you can toggle between 1080 and 720 depending on the one you want but let it not go below that all right then the next one is video quality higher quality means um video file size okay so here you leave it at auto recommended or you set it okay there is no 30 here so or you just leave it at auto recommended okay so let it be auto recommended then the frame rate frame rate most of the times i use 30 fps okay so you can just leave it also at auto recommended all right and then orientation of course leave it at auto landscape means the video is horizontal portrait means it's vertical so just leave it there and then audio source okay audio source you can put it on microphone or internal audio and microphone so just leave it at microphone where it is okay so when you come over to recording default mode stability options leave it here more stable okay you want something that will be more stable so that when you are recording the whole thing won't go off all right so just leave it at default it's better it's there okay so here they said avoid unexpected stop don't put your phone on power saving mode 
all right don't put your phone on power saving mode while you want to use this app it won't work okay so and then of course you have uh, uh all of these other ones hide pop-up window after taking screenshot uh, that one is countdown before start okay just three seconds text and logo show touches so that whenever you are touching your screen all right when you are touching your screen you will see all of these things popping up just like you can see this the way i'm touching my screen okay so this is very important uh let me show you can you see show tabs okay so just leave it the way it is there and then activate brush can you see it has come up here let me show you what brush can do you click on brush let's say you you want to explain something around text and logo can you see you can circle it people can see what you are seeing okay not just blindly following you all right can you see can you see that okay so that is that is what this can do for you okay that is what this can do for you and then once you are done click here on this time sign to cancel it and then click here to delete immediately click here can you see click on this arrow to go back okay can you see that and then if you want to change the color of course or the size okay can you see okay that's where you change the size all right so that is how this works then of course you have uh, trash and all of these things so once you are done the next thing you are to click on you go to your home page click here and then click the video sign here okay to start recording now again something else i need to show you is this um when you come over here when you come over here it says um where is it camera now you need to activate camera also okay activate camera can you see so you can you can see yourself on your phone screen while doing what you are doing your viewers can watch your face and you keep doing what you are doing it's all good all right so there's nothing wrong about that so that is how to go about all of this stuff is that clear so i hope after this video you will start doing screen recording proper okay this is one of the best i can recommend another video is coming up where we will give a review between this app and mobizen app i have premium mobizen app if you want it you can let me know it will be sent to you okay or you use one of the links in the description of this video to my dm and it will be given to you thank you please subscribe to this channel and click on the notification bell like this video add a comment and share thank you bye